Subscribers, walk one. Welcome back to Zen Guitar. Now I'm about to hit you guys with something not so old yet not so new. This one is from 2008. Title of the song: Feel Good. Name of the artist: Mr. Barry's Hammond, one of our living legends. Now let me take some time out to big up all the new subscribers to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you want to learn reggae guitar, if you want to learn anything Caribbean, you're in the right place, you're on the right channel, you're in good hands. Now if this is your first time visiting this channel, I'm going to ask you to just go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, you know. Do a brother a favor. Hit the notification bell when it pops up and hit all. This way, whenever I post a video, whatever I put here on YouTube, you will be alerted. Now, without any further ado, let's jump to this one. Grab your guitars. Let's go. Before anybody asks me what I'm using on my um, FX board, I am not using the FX board today. I am running everything through Logic Pro, as you can see there behind me. Alright, so I just went in it and tweak, just find the amp and tweak it, you know, it all has to do with the ears. But yeah, so um, this uh, has three cards, three basic cards, you know, it starts with a stock line and it has a stock line, let's put it that way, right? So. It's important for you guys to watch the entire tutorial from the start to the finish. Because even though it's three basic cards, the feel, you want to get the feel so you're playing reggae the right way. All right? So let's do that. Please don't just jump or skip through. Watch the entire thing. All right? If you really want to learn. So, um, yeah, it's in the key of G. But let's start with the stock line. Something that I've never done. I've never started with a stock line. But, you know, let's switch things up a little bit. All right. So the stock line is basically um, chromatic. All right. All right. So um, it's a... Now, it is important for you to um, alternate the picking. All right, you don't want to, yeah, not so cool. It's easier when you, you know, way easier. If it seems as if it's a bit of, of a challenge at first when you're doing it, continue doing it, practice it, practice it, practice it, and it, you know, you will see the benefits from that. All right, especially when it's time for you to start doing solo. You know, you don't want to start. That's going to be hard. You want to be able to up and down, up and down and do your stuff. All right. So that's important of that part. So yeah, back to it. Chromatic. So you want to start here at the third fret. You know, on the fourth, the fourth string, third fret. And you want a chromatic view. You know, chromatic means one note after the other. Half steps. Then jump to the fifth string. Then, again, okay, so, Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes in the song you're gonna hear. You know, that's him jumping back. Yeah. So listen to it. the palm there on the strings down here so you can get that muted sound instead of different from okay so that's basically it for the stock line i'm sure you guys got that it's quite easy here are the cards you want to bar the whole third fret with your pointer finger you want to place a middle finger on the third string fourth fret pinky finger on the fourth the fourth string fifth fret pink uh, ring finger I'm making a lot of mistakes here ring finger on the fifth string fifth fret Pro probably it's because I'm talking a bit too fast all right but um yeah that's it so again bar the whole third fret with the pointer finger place the middle finger on the third string fourth fret pinky finger fourth string fourth string <laughs> fifth fret and the ring finger on the fifth string fifth fret right there that's the one all right now for the four bar the whole third fret still and place that ring finger on the, the second third and fourth string of the fifth fret now this time you're striking from the fifth string done all right that's a four the five just slide this position up a whole look so it's a one after the five you go back to the four so it's i feel good when i'm wrapped up in your arm dancing to a reggae song feel good Feel good. All right, <clears throat> my bad. So that's basically it for the cards of the song. Now, guys, remember, reggae is on the down, it's not on the up. All right, don't play. A lot of people will say. It doesn't really sound different what's the difference you know it, it's it sounds the same no it does not right it's we we reggae people we can hear the up oh, we can hear the thinner strings playing the thicker we are supposed to be hearing the thicker to the thinner so it is a difference listen for the difference now that's the difference different from and that's a major difference in reggae when you do the up it does not sound right it is not reggae all right so please do down now when i strike i squeeze and i release almost instantly but not all the way up with this hand right here because you want to keep it there so it, it's you know muted Right, so you want to release almost instantly so you squeeze so it's working with this hand both hands are working together so it's not a and try whenever you strike not to let your hand go all the way down you want to get back up here in time to strike again this is why when i play i don't play all the way like that i play and i keep it there it does not go further so if you pay attention to my right hand it's in a rhythm see that 
it's in a one to one two three four one two three four one two three four that's what my hand is doing but i'm not playing one two three four i'm like one bounce one bounce one bounce one bounce you get that okay so it's like get your hand in that rhythm And that's how you strike reggae. That's how you play the strum. So now for the slurs and those little fillers and you know. Um, so remember guys, practice with your pinky finger. Do not leave the pinky finger out. This finger is your best friend. This is what's going to add the sugar to your cards. All right, so if you want to play a little bit. If you ever hear Bob Marley play. That's the pinky finger adding that sugar to the song. All right, so. Straighten it up. Straighten it up. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so you will hear sometimes. All right, so now, even though reggae is on the down, when you're going to add your fills and your little slurs, you want to add, you want to, you know, it's going to be on the up, you know. Remember, this hand is still working, squeezing and release. You realize I get back in time to play that. You know, so watch again, pay attention. See that? I'm back in time to play. One more time. Now, as for that slide, that slide is you want to go from a semitone down. All right, so with this card G, just bring it down a semitone. So when it's time to get in that G, that one, you slide from there, you know. And for that, you want to do an upstroke. See that? I'm back in it. So I slide just in time to get back there all right now sometimes you'll hear now that's a pinky finger doing that okay so when you get here to that four the pinky finger is every now and then touching on and off with the pinky finger on the first string six fret. So uh, when I go, you know, I remember you doing the upstroke. Okay, that should not be too hard. So practice that. Also, I'm showing this part because a lot of people have been asking how I do those stuff. So even though I don't even think, I just feel the music and I just. Go ahead with it. Remember, do not fold the song up with it. You know, you're not going to kill the song with that. All right. It's every now and then, like every four bar, or every eight bar. All right. At times, you will hear a dominant before you go back in the, the one. So you will hear something like this. You hear that? Not sure if you guys hear that, but let me do it one more time. You know, I played a little bit harder so you guys could hear. It's a bit, it's a bit different. Different from. All right. So there are many things you can do with this little finger all right so just just try not to overdo it all right every now and then and that's basically it for the song yeah, man. now i wish i could say there is more to this song but unfortunately there isn't all right 
three simple chords, three basic chords, simple song. You just need to get the feel right. Remember to practice with that little finger. It matters. Now, if you have a request, drop it down there in the comment section. You know, let me know you feel about this tutorial. Let me know if it was helpful. Let me know if there is anything that I could have done to make it easier for you. Remember to hit the like button. It's important to me and YouTube. This is how they recommend my channel to other viewers. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe. All right. Blessed love. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time. One love.